the other right. Uh -huh. Under the penalty of perjury, is all this information true and correct? Yes. What do you think? We're almost married. Nervous. Hi, Jing Jiangwei. So, you think? 人生大事好简单哦，就就这么登记一下，签个名就结婚了。<笑> My name is Stephen Bolstad. I'm、uh, looking for a, a mate. I'm looking at Asian women to be that mate. One, 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 one mate. Uh, my name is Kelly Hill, and I'm the program coordinator at the June Anderson Center for Women and Non-Traditional Students. Watch a film screening of Seeking Asian Female. Uh, and after the film screening, we had a discussion about healthy and unhealthy relationships, some of the warning signs of unhealthy relationships. We also talked about the challenges that could occur in a relationship that has language and cultural barriers. And、uh, we had a great discussion、um, with the students that we usually don't have. Hi, my name is Yeri Zhang, and、um, I came to watch a film called *Seeking Asian Female*.、Uh, this film、um, really opened my eyes that even though I may feel、um, differently about certain things that happen、um, between different cultures, I always have to keep my, an open mind、uh, for whatever comes、uh, my way, things like that. And this has been a very informational documentary that really. Um, challenges others' thought process and、um, it pushes others to be more、um, uh, able to talk about their their feelings and their emotions and、um, just be open-minded about the whole、uh, process of inter inter、um, cultural marriages. My name is Ryan Duell, and I learned quite a lot from this event. Mainly the idea of culture clashing between. Cross-cultural dating. I didn't really consider how big of an effect it would have, but watching it, I realized it, was, it had a lot more to do with it than I thought. The small things, like Americans doing the laundry like once a month, or other things like oh, like we have like a cleaning day instead of just clean the house like regularly. These small things, they can add up and they can like cause like little small problems and communications and barriers like that, and really made me think. Or the implications of trying to date someone from another culture, or a culture that's much more different than mine.、Uh, my name is Nafin Jai, and I learned tonight. I learned a lot, a some things that I didn't really know about Chinese culture and just how relationships are looked at through different lenses of different cultures, and it kind of changed my thinking of that too. My definition of a healthy relationship is. A relationship in which both people are growing, and there's mutual mutual trust and respect, and there's accountability for each other's actions. A healthy relationship, I would say, is one built around trust, communication, and willing to work through issues that come up. Because it's always going to be, you know, hunky dory with your significant other. There will be issues, there will be disagreements. But if you're willing to put the work in to work with them, and to see through any problems, and to point out problems with them, and then to be able to say, "I have a problem. I'm going to work on it," that is a great relationship, and it shows that you are committed.、Um, my definition of a healthy relationship is balance and just. Support from both people, and understanding, and like just good communication. Because I feel like a lot of relationships, my, like myself included, just really lack communication. And I think if we could get to a point where there's just a healthy way to like express what you need in a relationship, it would be way better. On a plane. This is it. 不相信，昨天晚上还在中国，然后今天就到中到美国了。What would you like to do? What would you like to see? The grocery store? Where we buy food? Um, I mean, I would, yeah, I would be open to it. And I think, yeah, it, I think it is easier just to date someone from your own culture. But I think being like, I'm American, but I'm also like. 
a child of immigrants. So I think even dating someone American can be like a culture clash in a lot of ways too. So I would be open to it as long as we have things in common and can come to an understanding. Our girls. I don't talk to girls anymore. That was before you. Not before me. Gosha is now. I told her that, but I'm in love with you. I don't want you to tell your girls about me. I curse you and scream. Oh gosh, I would probably just try to reach out to my friend first and just just ask them the type of questions that maybe I would want to ask myself about like, are they really happy in the relationship and if there is like the balance and the communication the understanding that they need and just if they feel comfortable and you know, the girl in the movie, she talked about how there was a point where she wanted to leave and she said something about like freedom. So maybe just, do you feel free in this relationship? I think that's what I would go for first, is just to try to communicate with my friend. And then take the steps to, if they want to get out of that relationship, try to help them. Oh God. <laughs> she's read a lot of things to me in Chinese, and I feel so, I feel comfortable with it, but I have no idea what she's saying. I love the movie and I think it was a really good way to we I feel like we really don't talk we always say like toxic relationships and talk about like but we don't really get into like red flags and like realistic ways to like look at how a relationship is really working instead of just leave them or stay or just you know I think it's a good time I think it's a way to open up the conversation on like realistic terms and across cultural lines and values and yeah but depending on the culture or family you grew up in, uh, you may or may not have had um, conversations with your parents related to relationships, sex, and uh, what to look for in a partner. And it gave our students an opportunity to talk about healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships. It also t let us talk about um, sex and how to be a friend whenever you see someone in an unhealthy relationship. And I think that was a really good opportunity for us to ha have as well as giving students to the opportunity to talk about those issues um, through the lens of language and culture.